Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. So, I ain't gonna lie, I've had a little bit of complications. Uh, mainly in that when recording, I had lost quite a bit of footage. Well, it's less that it was lost and more it was unusable. So, yeah. I had recorded something like 10... 12 episodes worth of things with a uh, good half of them being completely useless. So instead of, you know, making a good old fashioned, oh hey, here's how I screwed up thing, I'm just gonna continue playing from this part, right here. Ow. And proving once more that I suck at this game. And all other games, really. Well, most other games. Not all games. Basically, I think it was a GPU problem that I, that I was having. Like, my computer just did not like the idea of actually playing games for a time. I don't know. It, it's a thing of concern to me as a Let's Player and Gamer and general all-around good guy. Well, I like to think of a good guy. Good at fighting these guys, not so much. But anyways, I was about to delve into this area over here. And it was going to hopefully be a good time. Also, I can, I'm going to grind that guy later for money. Because I need it. I will need it. Open up. There we go. Safe to say, though, I still don't know all the finer things about this game. It's fun. All the finer points and details, yeah. I mean, it's not like it matters much, as I wasn't really planning on, like, 100%ing the game in the first place. I just wanted to have fun. Then everything got ruined. But oh well. Uh, one second. There we go. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get through this part. Not because I'm, you know, questioning my own skill. Far from it. More questioning about whether or not my computer will suddenly decide, Oh hey, that was a perfect time to crash the game. You know, right after this boss fight. The false knight. He's big. He's got a hammer. Maul? Whatever. He's awfully... Awfully? Also heavily armored. I mean, look at him. Look at him! And how squishy he is underneath this armor. Now we understand him. Going. Sounds like he's got to quiet the temper. Ow. Okay, that was me. That was my bad. Ow. Okay, yep, I cornered myself that time. There we go. Come here, Mr. Squishy Face. This is only about, what, the fourth time I had to kill you now? Yep, thank you, video game crashes. Ow. And dying incessantly. Whoa. Eh. Go. One more shot at this actually pretty adorable face of yours. Finally, don't make everything fall down. What did I just say? You're a terrible, horrible night. So that was a boss fight. 
City Crest. Never actually sure what this does. It's an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Cool. There's also money up here. Okay. There's money. I collect it. <sighs> kind of wishing that there was more of it though. I mean, sure, I miss a little bit of Geo. Ah, yes. I wonder, I wonder what is up here with this very malignant looking air of skulls and uh, torches. Is it going to crash this time? Nope. I'm a rest here. Sup? Oh, Luni Simba, ma. Oh ho, who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you into the hollow nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? I say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho. I like spells. I don't like falling unconscious though. I can now tap circle to unleash spirit. Uh, that sucked. Hi. Oh ho, you've woken at last. I apologize, perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seem to have slipped away myself. Oh ho ho ho. Now we're awake, I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. You see, a horde great beast has made his home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Ho 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 And Merry Christmas to you too. So that's the spell. Ain't gonna lie. It's a pretty nice spell. I mean, especially for, you know, what I have to do to do it, to get it, rather, to have it, to be good buddy old pal old friend old chummy chum with the snail shaman guy. Now each time I do use it, it does take up a small bit of my spirit, soul, whatever. Well, that beach ball just went off. No jumping here because spikes suck. Ha! Also does do a little bit of pushback on the knight character. But, you know, sacrifices. And actual using a weapon with skill. Oh, see, these are awesome. You can use up your spirit or soul or whatever you want to call it. Or whack them, and they will restore them. Ha. I'm not sure. Did I have to come this way? Was this the way I needed to be of the going? I don't recall. Also, it's just a little morbid that I'm uh, totally walking on corpses. Ah, okay, that's why I came here. I'm not sure if I showed it off in the first episode. But these give me temporary health. Which is neat, of course. I don't remember killing a thing there. And hello. 
Well, three blasts weren't enough. Ow. Four blasts, however, that just does the trick. Soul Catcher. Crypto Charm to activate its powerful abilities. Yep. Gotta go to a bench. Be all hey. Bench. Hi. <laughs> oh ho! So it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing must have been terrified of you. Used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Ho ho ho. And look, the gate between us has opened. Ho ho ho. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, you will it will find you. Ho 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 ho. Ho. I don't much like him. But, now that we're resting, I can equip some charms. Draws more souls from the world around them. Equip the man. Ah, sweet. So now, when I strike things with my nail, I will get, uh, I will get more soul faster, which is quite nice. Ah, the switch for the secret passage. Hello, what is this? Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Yep. Now, yeah, I think I'll do that. But, I think I will take the Stagways. The Stagways are terribly convenient. Say that you wanted to head on up to Dirtmouth, but, you know, you don't want to make the trek, which ends up being like 20 minutes of dying a lot. Trust me, that's happened. Well, with the Stagways, the ever so useful Stagways that they are, you can actually travel there relatively quickly. You know, just as long as you've opened up a local stagway. Eh, might as well kill this guy. Might as well try to kill this dog. Might as well die trying to kill that guy. <sighs> well. Suppose now I can show you guys what that does. You see, when you die, you leave behind your uh, corpsey bits. Now those corpsey bits, though, will... that's where all your geo is, and that's where a good portion of your soul gauge is. As you can see there, it's broken. So now, I have to go back and kill it. Now, I've been calling it something else, but evidently the name of this thing is a shade. And you could see it when I had, uh, died. Yeah. Creepy, ain't it? Now, I was about to say, it can attack you. Which sucks. Come on. I had this guy's pattern down for the longest time. I mean, I had to grind him for money. Pretty much. Ow. It's cool. It's cool. I, I got this. I got this. Maybe I don't. I really don't. Wow. Maybe it's because of the angling on that. I'm used to approaching him from the other side. Whoa. I'm gonna try killing this guy for a little bit of extra soul first. Okay. Is he still running amok over here? 
Not no more, Yank. Not no more. But yeah. Running on down to the Segway. Gonna hit that save point. Save point. Ah. <sighs> What's up, buddy? Yet, um, I forgot to talk to you. So let's head up to Dirtmouth for a bit, shall we? Kinda wonder if that's what stags actually make for tunnels. Probably not. And you will see, once I hit this lever, Boom. Door opens, and it's revealed that this building was dirt mouth. Hi. Oh, you're back. You walked straight past me and descended down into the ruins without even saying hello. Thought maybe I'd seen a ghost. The mind perhaps play sometimes plays tricks on you when you spend a lot of time alone. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into the depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's the sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I thought I'd never see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since even before my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of Glorious Lions, a web of tunnels running all throughout the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard, though I've dare ne Bleh. Though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to play. I think I read this before in the first episode. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder why that changed. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but this shop's not open. If you guys will remember Cornifer, this is his wife. <sighs> Bafanada. Bafanada, indeed. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver some new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Yeah. He's got a lot of stuff. Now, what we really want is this one. Because with that, we'll be able to see where we are on the map. We'll want the quill, because this will allow us to automatically update the map as we ourselves travel. And personally, I like knowing where the benches are. And since I got the money, why not? Vendors. And that's all the geo that I've got. So let's head on back out here. Hit up this rest station. Now we can actually look at the map. Well, now we should be also be able to equip... Oh, sorry. Up. There we go. Boom. Now I think I addressed this at one point, but you'll see those notches. Each of these cost a specific amount of notches to fill. And I've only got three notches, so that means I can only fill up those three notches. But I'm not going to take the stagway back. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump back on down the well. See, now we have this wondrous new spell, but there's quite a few areas around here that we should probably take a look into. And I want to do that. I'm going to do that. You guys can't stop me. It's my let's play. There were quite some useful things around here, if I recall correctly, as well as some new people to talk to. More grass to cut down and statues to break. It's all good times, you see. 
all good times. Bump, bump, bump. I really do wonder when the next time I'll... Well, when I will be able to get, like, an upgrade to my nail. I don't know. Maybe I'm just impatient. Like, I was good a few episodes into the game itself when I was wondering, hey, I wonder when I will actually get an upgrade to this thing. I mean, it's a wondrous little weapon. Hi again. Ow. Yes, upwards. That's where I wanted you to attack. Mr. Hollow Knight? Guy? Person? Thing? Eh. And he exploded. Hi, guy. You're free. I'm gonna heal. Because that hurts. I really do wish I could take the, one of these guys' as clubs. I mean, they're just cool. I like big weapons. Do I get a big nail later on? I'm like a big ass freaking nail. I don't think I can go this way whatsoever. Yet. Hi. Oh. I already spoke to you. Uh, yep. Already spoke to you. Sorry. Uh, don't remember going upwards, though. Was that a thing I did? Hmm. This is where knowing these sort of things would be real nice, like... Well, might as well restore my soul. Head back up. Check what else is this way. Because I personally don't remember. I don't have the map for this area. Oh, I do remember. This area just did that. And nothing else. That's a shame. Don't know why I bother going that way again. Well, guess I'll just hit the old dusty trail. By dusty trail, I mean head to the left instead of the right this time. Ha! 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 Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Don't mind me. Just being an idiot. Let's see. That heads directly downward. Aha! Nearly got me. Nearly. Hmm. Now I'm kind of curious about any and all sort of different ways that I could in fact take the or find a secret of some sort. And that was me taking damage. <sighs> that was me taking bad damage. There we go. I almost didn't have that guy for a bit there. I'm not really used to this game quite yet. I know that's sounding strange, seeing as I've had this game for a while now. But it's like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. The weapon is not as fast as I would usually be used to. Because, you know, it's, it's not that fast. I click the button and I have to wait for the sword to go away before I, you know, try to sword again. Makes sense, I'm just not used to it. Because most other games are like... Press button, receive sword. It just requires me to take things a little bit slower is all. Let's see... Go away. Oh, yes. Again, I'm not sure whether or not I did this on the first episode. Come on. 
it over here. Thank you. Go away. But there's this guy. Who for saving his children will reward me. A little bit more each and every time. And eventually he will give you health up and soul up items. Which is neat. <sighs> Let's see. Poisonous pool. Actually, I never did go that way, did I? Oh yeah, superhero landing. Wonder if did I go this way? I don't quite recall. Crap it. Oh well. More or less ended up being where I wanted to be. Let's see, there was that hot spring. Just totally has a save point. I'm gonna hit that first. Because hot springs are nice. I've actually never been to a hot spring myself. Really should sometime, shouldn't I? Alright. Maps updated. So everything that every place that we had been that was not originally on the map is now on the map thanks to that uh, pin that I had bought at corner for shop. Go figure. I don't think I have been this way. Yes, I totally not been this way. Ooh. Money! Can't say no to money. Hmm. That said, though, I don't think that there's anything else in this direction. It's just a dead end. That sucks. But at the same time, money. Money, 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 money. Ooh. Where's that section over there? I'm, I'm trying to remember things as I'm playing along because there were other areas that I had previously found during the uh, bad recording what's up there can't get up there during the bad recordings that I was like oh hey cool stuff oh he splashes the waters with his nails that's cool but yeah I suppose here's a good time to call an episode did quite a bit Going to need to explore some more stuff again. Which is not a terrible thing. What this game's all about. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.